Sir, our Thai interceptors have located a rebel fleet orbiting the planet Torkana. Excellent. Prepare the attack. Move our Star Destroyers within range and launch all TIE Fighter Squadrons. At once, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intrepid Dawn. My name is Captain Katarn, and today we're going to play some Star Wars X-Wing Collector's Edition. Now, this is from 1994, so let's get started. First, I need to create a character. So, we'll go ahead and put in my name. Actually, you know what? We'll go with, uh, Captain. If I could spell it right. Katarn. There we go. Awesome. So, that's me. And now we can continue. It's pretty cool. Just, uh, the graphics and the sounds and everything. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's a pretty neat thing. So here you can see we're on the flagship Independence for the Rebels. And we have the historical combat. You can do the pilot proving ground. There's a tech room, a film room. You know, or you can go back to registering. But what we're going to do today is we're going to do a tour of duty. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Tour of duty registration, sir. I mean, for the time, this is fantastic. So let's go ahead and do tour number one. Good luck, sir. And this will be our first episode. I'll do the first, uh, the first one. So here we go. Let's take a look. A new ally. Leaving the Alliance flagship independence. First of all, I mean, just the graphics for this era are still awesome. I, I, to me, that's good. You know, even today, that can hold up against some of the uh, really poorly done 3D models. The attack against an Imperial convoy has turned up a surprise. Oh, excellent. Blue Squadron reports the escorting Imperial Corvette wishes to defect. All right. The Corvette's crew has stopped their ship and lowered their shields. The Y-Wings will guard the Corvette until a boarding party arrives. Sounds good. X-Wings from Red Squadron will destroy the Imperial freighters. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Do your best to destroy all of the freighters. All right, let's do this. I am super excited. All right, so you can see it's it's kind of it's kind of cool how that works. I mean, it, it's it's voice activated. And you know, it kind of shows you what it's gonna look like on your heads-up display if you if you hover over it. 
So that's that's kind of neat. Uh, personally, I think this is awesome. So let's go ahead and enter the mission. So I'm going to be in an X-Wing. And here I go. All right, so I'm in the X-Wing. It's his first person combat. It is uh, pretty exciting, really. All right, so let's get started. So I have my uh, I have my joystick and my HOTUS set up here to do this. So there's all kinds of stuff we can do. But first thing we're going to do is switch over to our torpedoes. And I'm going to... Uh, Oh, he already fired at that. I'll do this one instead. Here we go. As soon as it turns red, I'll have a lock, and I can fire two torpedoes per freighter. Target destroyed. There we go, and then we'll switch over to our guns to finish it off. Alright, just trying to line it up here. There we go, right good shot. shot. Target destroyed. Alright, sweet. So let's go ahead and see. There's another freighter about 6k in the distance. So we're gonna go and get that one. And you can ro you can rotate on your axis in the X-wing. It's it's pretty neat. Um, I have it took me a while, but I have it all set up to my HOTUS now, so I can do all of my commands via my my stick and my throttle. Um, unfortunately, the throttle mapping doesn't work in a uh, you know in a linear way, so I have to have them on buttons for plus and minus rather than you know like uh, here you know th there's this and uh, and that, but you know beyond that it's pretty awesome <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with it and it's kinda cool I mean you can cycle through your targets and I can also do this I can uh, set my cannons to dual fire or quad fire or single fire if you wanted to so uh, I prefer dual fire or quad because I, I think it just looks the best but here we go so setting my Z rotation let's go ahead and switch back to uh, torpedoes two per freighter Fire, fire, okay. Switch back to my laser cannons and help finish it off. Actually, let's go ahead and stop before I end up ramming this because collision is modeled. Oh, geez. All right. If I, if I hit the freighter, I will die. So there's that. If you, and then there's even a match speed with target, which is kind of cool because it helps you stay in uh, position. Now you can see on my heads up display that the shields are down at this point. And one of the things I, I want to say about this game is that this game is ridiculously uh, unforgiving. So we'll go ahead and switch back over to our targeting mode. Oh wow, I didn't think we could get a lock from here. We'll see. I, I don't even know if my tor proton torpedo can travel that far, so I'm not going to fire it now because I, I don't want to waste it. But, um, yeah, so you can see that this game is very unforgiving. There are no difficulty settings, so it's all a Twitch-based game. If, if you don't have the accuracy or whatever needed to, uh, to do it, then you're just not going to uh, have a good time or enjoy this. A TIE Fighter had a lot of refinements that this game doesn't have, but this was really the original game. And when you see something like how, they, uh, how they've set up... Okay, we're out of torpedo launchers. Crap, hang on. Oh, so we can set them to dual fire. Nice, we should have done that. Okay, so we'll switch back to laser cannons. All right. Firing at it. I don't think those torpedoes hit, to be honest. All right, so we'll match speed with the target again, so hopefully I don't ram it this time. Oh, and here's the other thing. You noticed I'm out of lasers. I have nothing. So what I need to do is I need to actually go into my uh, engine's management settings and switch my power to my lasers. That's another cool thing about it. It's something Star Citizen's trying to do too. You can't have 100% power to everything, so you need to uh, you need to change that. And then the other thing you can do too, and let me show you this, this is pretty neat. Okay, you can see that my lasers, even though I'm firing them full time, are still charging at the same rate because I have full power. Two lasers. Shields are down, it's almost dead. Hall damage. Target destroyed. All right, I think we get percentages on the next one. There's another one out there. Do I need to get it? Probably. All right, let's go heading. Full power. Whoa, nice explosion there. Okay, our proton torpedo launcher is empty, so we will uh, switch back over to laser cannons, and we'll just take this one out. But the cool part about this, I mean, like this, this was computer gaming essentially and I'm gonna take down my shields completely because I don't need them so I'll put all that power Target to the engine captured. 
Okay, so we captured the Corvette. Looks like the other freighter jumped. Not a part of what we have to get. So let's go ahead and get back to the Corvette. Let's find it. There it is. Corvette Brixby. It's about uh, 17k away. So I'm going to put all my power now to the engines. So we can go as fast as possible. And you can see that now the, it's really speeding up the distance. So, so the cool part about a game like this was back in 1994, there was there was Wing Commander, right? That that was really, I would say, that Chris Roberts, you know, set the bar for what could what could be done. But and Wing Commander is an awesome game, an awesome series. I've seen it, I've never played it. That's something that I intend to do on this channel is play it. You know, certainly in the run up to Star Citizen, just to you know help me become a better pilot. But this game pretty much cemented me as a Star Wars fan. I loved it. So we're going to do, this episode we're going to do the first two missions, because the first mission like this isn't that sexy, I mean it's just flying around and learning the controls a little bit, but the next episode, I, or the next uh, next mission I think is a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and do that. Awesome. Alright, so the transport's entered hyperspace, the Corvette's going to be entering hyperspace shortly, I just want to get there if I can to escort it, because once the Corvette enters hyperspace, I believe the mission is over. Um, it's been... Gosh, it's been almost 20 years. Over 20 years. Yeah, 23 years since I got this. I got this in 1994, so just dating myself, uh, you know, 13-year-old me, 12-year-old me, whatever it was. Yeah, 12-year-old me. <laughs> Loved this game. It's fantastic. And I had one of those old Microsoft Sidewinder uh, or something. All right, so we're good. Sweet. So we're ready to go. Looks like we've completed our mission, so we're going to go ahead and go to hyperspace. We're going to jump and follow them. So R2 is getting us set up, and there we go. Bam. Hyperspace. And that's pretty cool. I mean, I wish hyperspace travel was that fast. So we're back at the uh, Defiance. Awesome. Let's see how we did. All right, so the mission was, was a success. So it uh, looks like we had 89%. Laser hits, four freighters destroyed, we got all the mission goals. Awesome. Alright, I'm pretty pleased with that. So let's go ahead and go back to the debriefing and Rebel we'll get another mission. Is expecting Empire activity in the Delalt system. Rendezvous with the nav boy and stay alert for Imperial warships. <laughs> ID all spacecraft. Withdraw without engaging the enemy. Okay, so I'm not supposed to shoot anybody. And I'm going to be in an A-wing. That's freaking cool. Expecting Empire activity in the Delalt system. Rendezvous with the nav boy. Okay, the captain of the Brixby and Imperial Corvette recently deflected to the Rebel Alliance. Confirmed reports that the Empire is planning a major offensive in the sector of Rebel space. He believes that a large Imperial fleet will begin its campaign in the Delalt system. In your A-wing, you look. To, you will undertake a scouting patrol and look for the uh, fleet. Ideal craft. Do not engage the enemy. All right, so th that's going to be kind of annoying. To Here we go, we're in an A-Wing. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, man, the cockpit is cool looking, too. Um, see, I'm sorry, I'm just really super excited about this. All right, let's see. Hyperspace jump completed. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we first thing we got, we need no power to the uh, lasers, so we're going to put all our power to the engines and the shields. There we go. That way we can be fast and get some decent shield protection. And I'm also going to, and this is cool, oh, I'm also going to take all my power from my lasers and, and dump it into my shields. Okay, so this is a Nebulon B frigate that we're flying towards. This is an Imperial one, and I'm going to put us in a uh, spin here so I don't get shot. Okay, so this is the frigate War Sprite. Interesting. Alright, anything else out here I can identify yet? Not yet, there'll be more that'll jump into the system. And my R2 unit should let me know whenever that happens. Now, the thing is that if you fly in a straight line, obviously you're going to die. So, part of this mission is learning how to evade large-scale craft. So that's what we're going to do. Two new Corellian Corvettes have come in at 10 kilometers. So let's go ahead and engage one of them. Let's see. Alright, there they are. So they're behind me. Go towards them. All right, and they're on the other side of that frigate. Sorry if this is making you guys sick. All right, they're way out here. 
And those TIE Fighters can't keep up with me either in this A-Wing. That, that would be like the most frustrating thing ever, to be an Imperial Commander and see like this, this uh, A-Wing just like flying right through your formation and you have absolutely no <laughs> ability to stop it. That'd kind of suck. Let's see, is that a... No, I thought that was maybe a Corvette too. So there's two of them here. We'll go identify them. We're about 4K out. <laughs> see how close those TIE Fighters are. Yeah, the, see, they can't they can't catch me. They're 2K away. So as long as I don't stop, it should be okay. So there's a new freighter too. We'll get him first. Just because he's on the way. They're unarmed too. Okay, so the freighter rugged. Now this Corvette. Ooh! And he's got some guns. Alright, let's see our... Alright, so that's Corvette 327-2. Alright, very exciting. Just going through my targets real quick to make sure I haven't missed anybody. Alright, so at this point now I just have to... Uh, just have to chill until some new targets show up. I might be doing better at this than they expect because I, I got the controls down quickly. Pretty pretty fun though, I mean like uh, this thing is is pretty maneuverable, I mean it, it's not Newtonian physics so like something like Star Citizen, three new Cor Valian Corvettes, Corvettes, okay. Let's get them. Here they are. Oh, I did get hit. So that happens whenever you don't fly in the... When you fly in a straight line, you get hit. Alright, so we got them all. Let me just make sure real quick. Yep, looks like we have them all. Excellent. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little more power into my engines. Just go a little faster. So there's a little bit less likely chance that they'll hit me now. Alright, go through my targets again just to make sure that we got everything. It'll tell me on the screen when mission's complete, so just gotta be careful. Yeah, so unlike Star Citizen, as I started to talk about um, the Newtonian physics, like in Star Citizen, if I if I you know hit my rudder to the left like this and start to turn, my my ship is actually going to slide because it doesn't automatically turn like this. Whereas this is more like atmospheric flight; like anything I do is instant and pretty hard, and you can turn on a dime, which is you know kind of what we see in Star Wars anyway, because the actual mo movies didn't necessarily feature, yeah, you know, like. Uh, sliding and, and stuff like that. It was very much atmospheric combat in space. So it's a different kind of model, but it's still fun. I mean, th this is uh, this is different than what a lot of the uh, space sims now try to do. X-Wing versus TIE Fighter is the same way. X-Wing Alliance, TIE Fighter, um, even... Whoa, I almost, I almost killed myself there on that Corvette. Oops, gotta be careful. Yeah, even, um, waiting for the next one to come in, even for the, uh, Star Wars Galaxies, jump to light speed, it's the same way as well. You know, like, it, everywhere that you turn, you instantly turn. Now, there is a little bit of sliding in, like, the bigger ships at slower speeds and stuff like that, but it's not nearly as pronounced. Like, you, you turn, you turn the stick and you're gonna turn. So. All right. So I guess we had to wait for them to close the distance up there to that guy before they're going to give us any more, because there's... I think there's a few more that we have to do. We're waiting for them to come in. I don't know, maybe a Star Destroyer comes in at the end. I, it's been a long time, but I can remember in this game we do actually take on Star Destroyers, and for me as a kid that was amazing, because they're broadcasting their ID signature as soon as they come in, and you're just kind of like, holy crap. You know, like, I'm in the middle of it now. Here we go. So we got some new Corvettes. Let's go get them. Yeah, so just, just remember, never fly in a straight line. Alright, so what do we have over here? We've got... Alright, so we've got three more Corvettes to identify. Go ahead and do that now. 
it's just amazing. You can kind of see the lasers off to the distance to the left there when they're firing at me. I'm going so fast that they just have no chance to hit me. We don't want to give these guys a chance to hit me either. Oh, there's a freighter too. Let's grab that real quick while we can. Getting attacked pretty good now. You would have thought that they would have uh, sent more TIE fighters after me, but maybe they just don't have it or maybe they realize that they're not going to get me. So. Let's see what. Whoa, here we go. Getting shot at. Tell you what, though, if, if you can pick this up, this game is $10 on Steam. Totally worth it. You do need to have a joystick, however, to play this. So, I mean, even one that you pick up at the, you know, at the local store would be more than fine. Alright, so we got all of our Corvettes and those freighters. I, I don't know if we have any other targets here. Oh, two new Corellian Corvettes in the right here. So that's exciting. I know that there's a key and I'll have to find it to uh, pull up the, the nearest thing that just hypered in. Whoa, they're coming out shooting. They're mad. Why you have to be mad? Alright, so I've identified them all. Are we good to go? Our two? How many more do we have? It's like we're not, not quite good yet. Oh, oh, oh. Now, now I'm in trouble. Let's go ahead and set up my shields. I'm too close to them. There's a whole bunch here. <laughs> they are, they're hitting me. So you can see that I can rotate my shields around too. Which is a useful trick. You can sw switch your shields to rear, forward, or even. I kind of need my shields to regenerate a little faster now, so I'm going to take some of my speed away. Two, two new Nebulon B frigates. Okay. So that's our next target. They're behind me. i got to run the gauntlet again. Alright. This is a pretty big uh, force the Empire is sending in to deal with us. I have to get my intel back to command. Now, TIE Fighter has something pretty cool. It's uh, time dilation where you can actually, uh, you know, make it so that the game speeds up so that you don't have to do that. X-Wing doesn't have that. It wasn't a refinement that they had for this game. But that's okay, because I, I think that this is still pretty fun. Like, I can't... Oh, the Harasser. Nice. Harasser won. Okay. I got them both. Anything else, or are we good to go? A mission complete. Sweet. So we're going to get out of here. So we have our intel for the Alliance Command. Let's go ahead and get set up. Hopefully I don't get blown out of the sky while I try to... There we go. Oh, three new TIE Fighters just were de deployed at me, just like I thought they would be. Alright, so we've uh, we've done it. Let's go back and see how we did. Mission was a success. So we've identified the uh, Nebulon Bees, the Harasser group, all of the other ones that we needed. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so we're going to stop here, so if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, tell me what you think about this. Uh, the next one, we're going to get into some pretty big dogfighting, so that should be pretty exciting. I, at least I think it is. It looks like those are the tutorial missions, essentially, for the tour. So I, I assume that they're going to get much harder. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you like it, don't forget to th hit the thumbs up, and uh, consider subscribing. See you in the verse. Thanks guys.